So I'm going to show you guys something that I found while cleaning out my pantry in shelf timber. Okay? Here I was thinking I needed some of this stuff. Oh my goodness, I keep all my vinegar and oils in one spot in the kitchen so that it's easier for me to get at. I found several olive oil, avocado oil, balsamic vinegar, white vinegar, apple cider vinegar, wine vinegar, and the little cheap vegetable oil that I have on hand for when I want to make a very unhealthy brownie mix. Um, yeah, I don't bake well, so I use a mix. But I have several of each. And um, yeah, that's great because now I don't have to buy it. I only have one of these left. It's almost full. Like I said, I don't bake. <laughs> so it doesn't take, it, I don't go through this too often, but I might get another one just for a spear. Then I'm going to take you guys over to my dehydrator and show you what's going on with my apples. Okay, so the apples are dehydrating nicely, but they're not getting very, um, they're not, crisp enough yet I want them um, to be able to get to a very crispy form so that I can dehydrate them um, and turn it into a powder for some apple tea so I have one here I'm gonna try it no nope. they're still pliable so they're not it's not ready yet so I'm just gonna leave that on there and when they're done they're done I'm not going anywhere oh Here's another thing. Let's go over to the Arrow Garden. Lettuce and escarole is doing very well. Um, I, I use one Arrow Garden for uh, leafy greens and one for herbs. And they're doing really well. A couple haven't germinated yet, and that's okay. I'll keep checking them. But... I'm telling you, this lettuce and everything is just so, it's so nice to have this on hand. An escarole, I like to dehydrate it and uh, use it when I make Italian chicken soup. Yeah, that one's de germinating a little bit. There's like four down here that haven't really done anything. These four are lettuce and for some reason they're not germinating. So, yeah. I might have to, um, I might throw a few more seeds in and just see what happens. But yeah, indoor garden. That's all, guys. I hope you like my video. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you on my next one.